welcome to the Albert and Billy Show. I'm joined with my guest co-host today, filling in for Papa. She's my Albert today, Miss Costa. Oh wow! Thrilling out. That's a lot of pressure to put on somebody. <laughs> I'm, I'm Albert today. <laughs> no way, not happening. Uh uh It's gonna be myself, Costa Willingham today. Hey, that works for me. Does it and, good? Because uh, it's the only thing that's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you've probably heard her on WUAT many times. Uh, she comes up a lot and promotes local events in the yes. city, especially. Yes. I'm the Kentucky really girl hard with them. in a Tennessee world. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I like just so that. we're clear on that. Yeah, I like that. So, yes, we have a lot of things to talk about. We do, like always. And thanks for listening on WUAT AM 1110. And as always, thanks for watching us on Channel 18 Valley TV. And, of course, you can watch on YouTube. You can watch every episode of the Albert and Billy Show on YouTube. So, check it out. And we do have some announcements, like always. Of course, you always have announcements. Always. Always. That's the and, norm. Uh, we'll tell people about a Al-Anon meeting coming up. It says Courage to Change. And it says now in Pottenville, every Saturday, folks, at 9 o'clock a.m., you can go to the Mount Crest Methodist Church, which is right by Wheeler Elementary School up on Highway 30 on Wheeler okay. Mountain. Mm -hmm. uh, so go out there each Saturday at 9 a.m. If you are a relative or friend of an alcoholic who believe their lives have been affected by someone else's drinking, do please come and share your experience, strength, and hope with this new group, which I think that's a great thing. It is. Uh, it is. I've been so affected much needed. by that. Much needed. Yeah, I think this this is a really good thing that uh, can actually be therapeutic for a lot of people. I think so. Well, too. family members, it, it's challenging. They don't know what the person is going through and no, things like that. No. And so they have questions yes. that they need answers for. What should they do for themselves? That's you know, true. how to help the other person, That's the family true. member. So it's hard. It is rough. Yeah. <laughs> and it does so, affect other people. It, it affects no other people it. around you, the work environment, the home environment. So all of that. All that. of that. So yeah. Uh, so we're glad to hear this. So uh, kudos to Mount Crest United Methodist Church. We're glad to see the al come to Pottville. And it's going to be, once again, every Saturday at 9 o'clock a.m. And the Pottville Fire Department Constance, the new fire department <laughs> still. Uh, they're just in a new location. They're not new, right, but right. it's just a new location. That's okay. true. That's, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> uh, they're having a, uh, well, a launch again. They've been doing this quite a bit lately, and I think they've been getting good crowds. Well, and they changed the menu up. They don't they have do, the same thing they? every time. So, like so that. that's that, that's a good thing, because after a while, you get the tired of chicken. The same thing gets old. Yes. So, good job, fire department. <laughs> Because this time, they're going to have chicken casserole lunch. And I think this is the first time they've done that. No. No, it's no, not. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. This is probably the third, I okay. think. Okay. You're on it, eh? I'm on that, yeah. When we first came here, we tried to make sure that the services that we might need mm -hmm. in an urgent situation, they knew where we live. So yes, mm -hmm. we support the rescue squad and the Pikeville Fire Department, and they've both been to our place. Fire Department's been more than once, unfortunately. But. You know, that reminds me, uh, this week is uh, Correction Officers Week. Yes, it is. Yes, it and, is. Uh, nurses Week. So That's right, yes. We want to commend those people. Um, I've been a correction officer, I can tell you firsthand that not it's easy a very job. dangerous job, very stressful, not easy. And uh, we want to thank those people. They put their lives on the line every single day they walk You think that about door. that, yes. They really yes. do. And uh, I was in some dangerous situations. I mean, it happens daily. There's, there's always something. You never know. You never, you never know. know. The potential is high in that, That's true. In that job. And it's a thankless job. You I mean, got that it, right. It is a thankless job. So we want to we want to give thanks to those folks because we do appreciate everything you do. And nurses, same thing. You know, they save lives every day. 
So where would we be without nurses? So where would we be without of a lot of people that are in those type I jobs? Know, I know. Fire department, the police, the rescue squad, That's right. nurses. And they don't get credit enough. They, they really do don't. not. They do not. And uh, I think we all need to take time to remember that, folks. You know. They don't have to do this, you know, uh, but we're sure glad they do. <laughs> so, wait a minute. We haven't yeah. finished the fire department well, yet. Let's How see. much does it cost? That's right. I, I had a thought there when you <laughs> said that. Uh, it's $8 a plate, but remember, it's for a good cause. I think all the proceeds go to the fire department, correct? Yes. Uh, they're looking to do some expansion and things. Um, Okay. With the other hat, they remodeled the, where the trucks go in the bay, but they need to do oh, some yeah. other things on the other side of the building also. Okay. So they need some additional, um, yeah. add some additional, the grant didn't take care of everything, I'll put right. it that way. So okay. they need additional funding to um, expand some of the other areas there. So, so it is for a good cause. It is for a good cause. And if you're there and you stop by, ask them to show you the layout, the floor plan yeah. of what they're planning for. Yeah. Then it makes it a little more realistic Yeah. as to yeah. what you're giving your money for. That's smart. It is. Yes, it yeah, is. Well, and they'll be we'll glad to, to share that. with you. Yeah. And uh, well, this is going to be on Sunday, May 19th. It'll be from 11 a.m. until 1.30 p.m. So, so you don't have to cook that there. day after church. That's right. That's right. And uh, now we're going to turn it over to you. Well, let's see here. What we got here? Another Pottville Fire Department. Let's see. Windmill Ooh. Quilt Raffle. Uh, supporting the Pottville Fire Department. The Kudzu Cottage will be raffling off the windmill quilt, 70 by 84, at their summer kickoff event on June the 8th. Mm, All proceeds from this will be donated to the Pottville Fire Department to support our local heroes. And their neighbors. Everybody we mentioned just previously is local heroes. True. Really. But the Kudzu Cottage is their neighbor. Yeah. yeah so, like yeah. That. So that's the community coming together to help each other. Yeah. So we yeah, need more yeah of that. we need more of that. A so, lot yes. more. And uh, so this, once again, is on June the 8th. Uh, let's see if it gives us a time. The drawing will be on June 8th at 4.30 p.m. Two tickets or you can get for $5. Three tickets for $7. Or you can get five tickets for $10. You purchase them at the Kudzu Cottage. And once again, the drawing is at 4.30 p.m. on June the 8th. Support your volunteer fire department, the Kudzu Cottage. You can check them out. They're a birthday winner sponsor here at WUAT. That's uh, a, good, can, a good idea, a good cause. It is. Yeah, being a good neighbor. I like that. Yes, yes. And, uh, and then check out the Kudzu Cottage while you're in there. Exactly. They have some very interesting things. I yeah. hear they're, they're, a lot of our birthday winners really love their prizes. Do they? <laughs> Well, they have classes there, and they have a lot of variety of things. Really? Yeah. I haven't been there yet. Well, then you need to things. check it out. I Mother's will. Day is coming up, so you know. Oh, have have you got your mother a gift? Because I don't want to listen to her complain that you didn't I do anything. Yeah. So, so you need to get with it. And I need to go there to do it. <laughs> well, you can. Okay. You I can. can do that. You might find something interesting. Okay. Well, I'm, so, I may just do that. Okay. Then. Okay. And they're open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. each day. And Constance, tell us about the Farm City Breakfast. Okay, Farm City Breakfast. This is um, the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. They're having a guest speaker, Charlie Hatcher. He's the Commissioner of Agriculture in the state of Tennessee. This is an agricultural community, mm -hmm. so there may be some very interesting things that you could learn about what goes on, what makes up a good agricultural community, that right. sort of thing. Right. Friday, May 17th. Let's see. Like I did say break. 7 to 830 Central Time at the <laughs> Bledsoe County Rescue Squad building. So, reservations are highly encouraged. I'm sure. So, Agnes Simpson is the office assistant. So, be sure to call the Chamber of Commerce 423 447 2791. I'll give you another opportunity. 
423-447-2791. Cause remember every time before we we never had the phone number. I know. I <laughs> Tell know. people to call the Chamber of Commerce and we didn't have a phone number. Yes. So the Farm City Breakfast. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, let's it's got a lot of sponsors, doesn't it? That's good. Oh, see all that. Hubbard, Southeast Farmers Co-op, Farm Bureau Insurance, River Valley, Ag Credit, Piggly Wiggly, <laughs> Save a Lot, and First Farmers and Commerce Bank. And Citizens Bank, I see. You see that somewhere? Yeah, oh, that there. tiny thing down there. Uh, okay. No, so <laughs> Citizens Tri-County Bank. Think, I think we got them all. That's a lot, so... It's a good breakfast from what I hear, though. It's a good breakfast. I think this is like the maybe fourth or fifth year that they're doing this, so. Doesn't tell you how much it costs, though. It does not. Okay. It but never, you have a phone number. Never does. Oh, it never does? Oh, okay. I've never known it to. Okay, so be sure to call Agnes <laughs> at Agnes the office. Agnes can tell you. Yeah, she can tell All about it. All right, well, is it trivia time, Allie? It is trivia time. All right. Now, trivia is going to be a little so I different. I need some help. I need some help. I help can't you. help him this week, so yeah, it's all up to you. She's my lifeline, so it's you this oh, week. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. I thought I Pressure. would combine Albertology and trivia since Albert's not here. Oh, wow. So I have three sections of trivia. Oh, wow. We have trivia on history. We have trivia on literature. And then we have trivia on pop culture, which Albert okay. would not know, but it we, changes uh, it up a little bit. Okay. Thank right. God, because the other two I don't know if I'm going to hear good at. <laughs> We're going to start with history. Number one, which was the first bridge to be built across the River Thames in London? Oh. Very, no. very famous. I don't remember, but I looked it up last night. <laughs> I remember seeing that and go, we'll never get that one. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that. There's a rhyme about it. London Bridge yes. falling down. The falling London Bridge. Down. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> How easy was that? All right. Okay. How many U.S. presidents have been assassinated and oh, Lord. who are they? Oh my gosh, Constance, you gonna have to take this one. <laughs> Why me? Because I don't hey, have a clue. You can think of at least two. I mean, Andrew Lincoln was. Um, Andrew Lincoln? I mean, not Andrew. <laughs> Andrew Lincoln, who? <laughs> Abraham, Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln. <laughs> Kennedy. That's two. You said but those actually the assassinated or attempted? Actually assassinated. Actually Abraham died. Lincoln and John F. Kennedy are the. Two most famous, famous. ones. There's, um, there's two more. Include. Polk. Po is mm -hmm. Polk one of them? Mm -hmm. Are they from way back when? Which mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln mm -hmm. is way back when, but. Uh, throwback, yeah. Slowly. Well, so, well, four has been. Yeah, there's four. Assassinated. And you know two of them. We got two already. That's your halfway. Yeah. It's the best I can do. I really don't. It's before know. my time. <laughs> <laughs> the other two are James A. Garfield and William McKinley. Dang it. Okay. Is okay. Ronald Reagan the only one that was it? An attempt. attempt. Yeah, he didn't know. Okay. It was two that was attempted. I think really? it was two, that, two attempts. Yeah, so that's why I asked, did it right. actually, or was it an yeah. attempt? Right. There's a difference. Okay. Okay. Number three. This one's simple. What three colors appear on the Italian flag? Green. Yes. Red. Yes. What? Yes. All right. Okay, the ancient city of Rome, very famous, was built on how many hills? Oh. It's also known as the perfect number. Oh. Seven. Yep. Let's see. You know I got this Seven perfect hills. number. Yeah, the perfect number was a clue, yeah. yes. All right. Well, we're not doing too bad. Number five. Which English queen reigned for just nine days? Oh. Mm. 
Nine days and yes. she got dethroned. No. She I can got picture it. Dethroned. People invaded, uh, Scotland invaded England and she got knocked Wow. Out. So she was only queen for nine days. She was young. Was there a movie about her recently? Uh, no. That was no, movie. no. Oh. No movie on her. Um, well, we know we know it's not Elizabeth. <laughs> Hush. But I do not have a clue. Do you? No, I was trying to think. Was this before the one had her head chopped off? No. Okay. So it's not Marie Antoinette. That was French. French. Oh, this shoot. is English. Um. I don't know. Who had her head chopped off? Oh, forget that one. Well, <laughs> That's not the question. <laughs> 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 she said English, okay. I just don't know. Lady Jane Grey. Dang. I don't, no, I wasn't. Nowhere on my radar. Yeah. All right, moving on to okay. the literature section. <laughs> Number one. The children classic Anne of Green Gables was mm. written by... Oh, man. I saw the movie. Shame on you. It's good. <laughs> but I don't know who wrote it. Uh, you don't read the credits? Apparently not. Oof. I know Megan Follows played her. But that ain't who I know. I know. I know. And you actually saw the movie. I, I did, did not. I did see them. It's actually a good movie. I'll have to say it was a good movie. Did you see the movie. movie by itself, or did you think you know there's a series of movies? Yeah, it was a series. Yeah, of she them. grew up. Mm -hmm. I like them. No, I don't. Netflix just did a new special on it. It's a TV show. Hmm. Oh wow! It's really good. Okay. It's called Anne with an E. Oh really? Author. Oh, crap! Who did write that though? I don't know. L. M. Montgomery. Dang. Hmm. Dang it. I couldn't help you there at all. Uh, all right, Billy, if you don't get this one. At least one, I knew a little bit about it, but it wasn't the right answer. <laughs> if you don't get this one, Albert's going to drive up to the radio station and yell. Oh, great. What was the pen name of the man that wrote Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn? I'm not even asking for his real name. I'm asking for the name that he went by as an author. Tom Sawyer no, and Huckleberry Finn. <laughs> when she said pen name, it just is gone. Albert talks about this oh, all no. the time. Oh, and I, any other time I can tell you this. Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn. Who wrote the dang book? Both books. Because he always gives us the real name. Yeah. I mean, if you know the real name, you can also give me the real name. I'll take either name. What does it start with? <laughs> M. An M. I'm going to say it, and you're going to be like, I know. I'm going to be that. so mad at myself. Um, An M. <laughs> I don't, name from the Bible. That's not Matthew, but it's Mark Twain. Yes. Oh, thank God we got one right. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which magical land did C.S. Lewis write? He was a Christian author, very, very popular for this book, which got turned into a series of movies. When did they come out? They've, they've been out. It's older. C.S. Lewis. Land. Yeah. A magical land, far, far away. <laughs> and it's not Oz. <laughs> no, it's not Oz. Um. It's a kids. It's children like middle school, early high school. I don't know that one. Do that you? The Chronicles of Narnia. Dang it. The Witch. The Warlock. Now, did the you read those? I did. I did not. <laughs> did not. Did not. Saw the movie, too, but... Did not. Forgot all about it. <laughs> forgot all about it. All right. What is Albert Roberts' favorite book to read at Christmas, and who is it written by? Oh, I definitely should know this one. You're really um, 
Scrooge, whatever happens, a Christmas Carol. Yes. Yes. Written by. Who wrote that? Do you have any idea? She. I don't know either. So do you read a lot? No. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't. Okay. You should have uh, Michael here instead of me. Is he good on <laughs> literature? Uh, who wrote that name? But a Christmas Carol. Is it? Very uh, famous. Uh, very old. There was a movie that came out about him. His it's, last name Dickens? Mm -hmm. Charles Dickens. Thank you. There you very go. You knew, you knew it would come. Yeah. Okay. And you know that I cannot talk about literature without talking about Sherlock Holmes. Oh, yeah. She's a huge Sherlock Holmes fan. Oh, wow. Nonsense. So, what is These the... These are tough, aren't they? What is the name of Sherlock Holmes's mortal enemy? <laughs> I mean, I'm solid money, but... Does it start with an M? <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah. It starts with an M. Can't you do better than that? No. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, I don't know. Professor Moriarty. Well, Papa would know that, yeah. All right. I gave you an M. <laughs> <laughs> and for our last section, we have pop culture, more relevant stuff. Thank God. Maybe this will be I don't easier. Know. Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Which actor plays Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean? Uh -oh. Oh, the actor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Johnny Tip. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We might actually do good on this part. In which medical TV drama was the unconventional lead character played by Hugh Laurie? House. Yes. Good job. <laughs> we got two in a row. <laughs> Who taught? <laughs> He's like, thank goodness. Yeah, we actually know these. Who topped the Billboard charts with the single Love Yourself and who wrote it? Oh, gosh. No. This was just two years ago. It wasn't even two years ago. Well, yeah, it was. We're in 19, aren't we? Oh. Um, it is 2019. Yeah, so it would have been about two years ago. Love Yourself. It's not Taylor Swift, is it? It's a guy. Pop artist. And the writer's a pop artist. Very John Legend. Um, <laughs> Doesn't sound like his style. Nick Jonas. <laughs> I'm just Ed Sheeran. He wrote it. Cool, I got something right. Who sang, <laughs> Who sang it? I don't remember. Justin Bieber. <laughs> No nice. way would I remember okay. that. Okay, no. All right. Two more questions. Who in pop music is called Queen B and who is she married to? Who in pop music is called Queen B? And who is she married to? Seriously? I mean, how, how recent or... Like? She's been quite a while started in a group now she's on her own oh beyonce jay-z yes okay thank you, thank you yeah 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 good job good job and this question is specifically tailored to billy <laughs> oh great <laughs> great ready i uh, think in the walking dead Ooh, the walking dead what country almost had a cure for the virus oh it was towards the beginning of the series, so a little bit of a throwback there. But they was almost a cure from a different country. What country was it? Um, we just talked about that. Isn't it England? Side England. England. Uh, Frank. We, yeah. yeah. Frank. Okay. Okay. Yes. So that wasn't that hard. I couldn't remember the cut. Yeah, that's at the very beginning. Aren't you yeah. supposed to be the Walking Dead expert? Yes. The it's real Walking Dead. It's been a while since I saw, you know, that's from season one. Okay. <laughs> Everybody should watch the Walking Dead. If you've not gave it a chance, give it a chance. Great show. Best show on TV, Constance. I don't know about that. You like westerns at all? People think yes. it's just a zombie show. No. It is a... Uh, it is a horror western. That's what it is. That's what it is. 
But it's uh, so western. I don't know if it's that's so cool. the way so to get good. people to watch it. Well, I mean, obviously, it, I mean, it's not scary, but, you know. Well, it can be. things happen, yeah. Yeah. But it's more about the people. It really is about the people. And it is set in a western style. Uh, I like it. Okay. Like, you need to give a chance, Constance. I think you'd, I think you'd like it. I've seen some. Uh, you yes. see, I could explain it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll pass sure. on that. I'll pass you, on uh, that. I'm so glad you did that, Billy. I love this show. Nah. Wait for that day to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up. Keep it up. Well, coming up after the break, we'll have some sports for you. Not a whole lot of things going on in sports, but we'll we'll tell you what is going on in sports. That's coming up after the break, right here on the Albert and Billy Show. Welcome back to the Albert and Billy Show with Constance Willingham as my sidekick today. Wow. In for Papa. Thanks for being with us today, Constance. I'm just here representing yeah. me. And I can't fill that. in for Papa, okay? I, I know. cannot fill I in. I know. You're physically feeling <laughs> <laughs> But in the seat, so okay. right, right, okay. And uh, you can check Constance out here at WAT uh, a lot. She comes up a lot. We talk about community events, things going on in the community, and we're actually going to be talking about that a little bit later on in the program for our outology yes. this week. So stay tuned for that. Uh, not a whole lot going on in sports, unfortunately, right now, Constance. But we're going to talk a little bit of basketball and. NCAA softball because the Lady Vols are doing really well. The Southeastern Conference is actually doing really well as we were just talking about. Yes. They've got more teams ranked in the top 25 than any other conference, so we'll get into that in That's just a, good a minute. Thing. That's a very good thing. It is. We're like it to is. Hear that. The NBA playoffs, though, the NBA fans out there. I'm a Celtic fan, Constance. Mm, okay. So I'm really sad to report the <laughs> first <one. laughs> But they're not doing so well against Milwaukee. The Milwaukee Bucks, they now lead the series three games to one. Uh, last night they played in Boston. Usually Boston's really tough to beat. At home. At home. Yes. You know, the Boston Garden is legendary for that. They don't lose at home very often. But they have a lot of new players that they true. didn't have previously. True. And some of what I consider the good ones are gone, gone. elsewhere. Yeah. And, uh, You're so yeah. about that. So that, that change, that shift. I that, know. That's, yeah. It's been tough to be a Celtic fan for the last several years. It really has. Uh, their last... Their last championship, I mean, was in, I believe, 2008. And uh, that was their first championship in, like, 22 years at that point. Well, that's uh, way too long. Way too is. long. And maybe they the should have gotten rid of the coach instead of some of the players. Maybe so. Maybe so. You think about I, that. I yeah. That. Yeah. So it's been tough to be a Celtic fan over the last several years, but I'm a true fan. So <laughs> You go ahead, true fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying the heck with that, ain't you? Well, I, I like a good b-ball game, okay? Yeah. So, Coming from yeah. a Kentucky girl, of course she loves basketball. You, you Kentucky people live and breathe basketball, but they're basketball always good. Basketball is always. year round. It is. It is fact. not a seasonal sport. You're okay? Right. It is I know. year round. Okay. They're all, they so I should tell you something right year. there. Year yeah, round. Yeah, that's why they're so good. It's a big deal in Kentucky, and I think they're good every single year. And they're having well, there's not just too. only Kentucky. There's Louisville. There's I know, that's Western great Kentucky, rivalry. Eastern Kentucky. Yeah. Murray State showed up this year. They did. Oh, yeah. They did. They did. I love to see a small school do well in the big Step dance. Up. I love to see it. And uh, also. More NBA playoff news for you. The Warriors and Rockets are currently tied at two games apiece. I mean, hang on a second. I can pull up last night's score by Georgie. <laughs> by Georgie. Take me a little bit here. I thought I had it wrote down, but hey, we got it. We're on it, Constance. 
Okay. Okay, the, the Rockets. Now, this is... Golden State is the team to be in the NBA right now. They just they just are. They've won the last few championships. Uh, been really they have, tough yes, to be. yes. Per se, Cleveland, I think, got them like, maybe one year with LeBron James. But other than that, Golden State has dominated recently. So this is a big deal. Houston beat Golden State last night, 112 to 108. And uh, that tied the series. So can the Rockets pull off the monumental upset? It's tied at two games apiece. Of course, the Rockets need, you know, they need to win uh, two more games, and it's not going to be easy. But some people. <laughs> Nothing is ever easy. No, especially against Golden State. <laughs> so uh, some people are calling for the upset here, though. Maybe Houston has what it takes to take down uh, the defending champs. Well, what State now the Warriors say. have been. Uh, there's some. Yeah, they lost two the games, but yeah. also. I don't know. They were kind of laid back a little. They were. They so, were. you know, were they letting them win? Sometimes. Is that a strategy? Sometimes hmm, psych it seems out. like it, I'm telling you. You never know. Tell, you, know. you know, we're going to take it easy. We're going to let you win one. And then when you come back, yeah. we're going to mop you up we're on the floor. We're going to step it up. Yes. I'm afraid that's what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to go with Golden State on this one to win the series. I kind of hope I'm wrong. But uh, we shall I'll have see. To see it to believe. We it. shall yeah. see. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens in that one. But that's uh, probably the best series going on right now. Another series in the Eastern Conference: the Toronto Raptors and the Philadelphia 76ers. The Raptors won last night, 101 to 96, to tie that series up at two games apiece. So a lot of close series going on right now. And I didn't like it when they got rid of the old coach for the Raptors. Yeah. I didn't like that. I didn't. Just, that was just my person. I didn't either. Yeah. Uh, but it never got explained very well either. There but was no explanation. There really was. He was just gone. I know. So. Uh, I think there should always be an explanation for things like that. You That's know, because I deal. didn't think he was doing a bad job. I didn't either. You know, I he's didn't from either. Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But still, I didn't think he was doing a bad job. I mean, they right. played well together as a team. Yeah. Uh, and that's important. None of that uh, he kind showboat. Of brought them to the, like, he brought them to the level they are now. now. And that's why they're I winning know. now. Okay? Like, I know. I I'm just going to put it out you. there. Well, yeah. it's true. You know, the new coach is kind of reaping the benefits of, of the last did. coach. Yeah. yeah. The he and did he's build got, them up. The new coach has got to prove himself. Yeah. At least to me. Yeah. Yeah. And they really, they should make some noise in the playoffs, but I yeah. don't think they're going to get past the 76ers. That's they may, they may not. Belief. I don't know. But that's another good one. Also tied at two. And then last but not least in the Western Conference, the Denver Nuggets and the Portland Trailblazers. The Nuggets won 116 to 112 to tie that series up at two. <laughs> tie, so, tie, I know. tie, tie. So, There's a theme here. It is. I, we literally don't know what's going to happen in the well, playoffs. Well, except like for Milwaukee and Boston. Unfortunately, yeah, yes. yeah. a miracle is going to have to happen for Boston. <laughs> A miracle! A miracle! A miracle! <laughs> They're gonna need it, Carlson. <laughs> so okay. that, that's the NBA news for you. And then we wanted to mention in the NCAA women's softball. I was going to talk about the Lady Vols. You know, they're at number 11 with a 39 and 13 record, which is pretty impressive, right? Go, Lady Vols. That's right. But as we were looking it up, I kept looking, and there's more and more and more Southeastern Conference teams in the top 25. They literally have 10 of the top 25 teams, which no other conference can say. That's not, uh, for one conference? That's I amazing. Mean, that's, wow, that's that awesome. Is. Yes. So go that's SDC big time. as well. So we'll mention those names besides the Lady Vols at number 11. We got Florida checking in at number nine. Alabama leads the pack at number four. LSU at number 10. Georgia at number 13. Ole Miss at number 17. South Carolina at number 20. 
Kentucky at number 23, Auburn at 24, and Arkansas at number 19. That is amazing. Amazing. Says a lot about the SEC. It does. Says a lot. Volumes. Uh, so. Speak the truth. I'm going to go out on them and say <laughs> the winner of the national championship this year will come out of the Southeastern Conference. All right. And I, I, I'm pretty confident saying that because it's the toughest conference, obviously, in softball right now. So if you can get out of that conference, you're gonna be you're gonna be ready for any other team because you've been tested. That's I mean, right. Y'all, there's you got to prove yourself. No bad teams in the Step conference. up to the plate and prove yourself. <laughs> literally, yes, literally. yes. Literally. So uh, that is it for sports. But coming up after the break, me and Constance will jointly bring you Albertology. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you didn't sit by for that. Albertology. <laughs> That's coming up next here on the Albert and Billy Show. Right, welcome back to the Albert and Billy Show. And now it is time for some Albertology. Billy and Constance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. it. We're going to keep it local. As I okay. said earlier in the show, Constance comes to the radio station quite a bit to promote and inform people about different events that are coming up in the community. Yes. And that's what we're going to do. And we're going to start it off with the farmer's market. Yes. Last weekend, weather, we yes. did make some changes, shifts, things around um, right. since the vendors had already prepared for the Saturday market yes uh, you know the fried pies and the, uh, all the sweets the sticky buns and all of that the tamales were uh, here. You, no the tamales were here oh okay. yes yes, okay, yes. Good, good. so they had prepared so you can't hold that stuff over to the next week so yeah, so we moved it up a little. Uh, started at eight. At least we had got to have that. So yes, yes. So it was a little slow to start with, and then just people, I guess, they woke up and came. Mm -hmm. So we had um, had new farmers, new vendors, new local residents. So we had a lot of traffic. Who I would say who not a whole lot, but for a More day like that, change of venue. So it was over a hundred people that came through. Oh, well, so I call good. that pretty good. Yes. I call that a win. Yes, and a lot of plants. Because uh, listen, it was changed literally. We had done a broadcast about <laughs> yeah. it, you know. Right, put it out there, and then what, 15, 20 minutes yeah. later, change in the schedule. Yes. So, so, so that's, considering that's that, yes. So it was, and then, oh, I'd say about 9.30, the wind picked up, and about 10 o'clock, it just poured. So, yes. yes. It really did. So, well, we was going to have true grit, but I hope they come back. My understanding they're scheduled to come back, grit, and we'll grit. see. But last year, we had rain on the first cruise in live music and the mm -hmm. opening of the farmer's market right. seasonally. So uh -huh. it, But there was thunder and lightning back yeah. then. So, yeah. But you never know. No, and you with don't. outdoor functions. You don't. Yes. And, you know, it's a kind of a risk you take. It is. Yes, it, it is. is. It, it, it is a challenge. But like I said, the farmers had already prepared for Saturday. So, yeah, what were gonna, what were they going to do with that stuff? Yeah, I, I hear you on that. So, yes. At so, least, well, the farmer's market, though, you got shelter at least. At shelter, but when the wind started, that shelter didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the wind and the rain was throwing through there and flowing and stuff, and it got cold. <laughs> I had on a short sleeve shirt, and I was like, like, man. Really? <laughs> yes. So sometimes the way it's situated, <laughs> the breeze, you know, it can flow. Uh, and all of a sudden you had to start anchoring your stuff down on the table oh, and, okay. and stuff like that. So it and did get a little tricky. It, it got a little nippy and okay. whippy and all of that. So, but it was a good day. Good. It was a good day. So good. overall, yes. 
And, and tell us a little bit about the farmer's market. You know, now it's it's a huge success now. It, and it is still growing. Yeah. Uh, during the week, we have, we, st we gave it a name, pop-up markets. As oh, okay. fresh produce comes in, the right. farmers come into the market to sell. Okay. Makes sense. I like that. Fresh produce. Yes. I took pictures of Mr. Gordon when he came Saw back. That. Yes. Glad to have, Glad him, back to have, back have him back. Yeah. So he had tomatoes and then he's got summer squash and cucumbers that and a really few, few other things. Yes. That sounds good. So and the straw I got finally got me some strawberries yesterday. Did you? Well, my schedule and it's like I can walk over to the field there. Yeah. But either I'm early, too early, or too late. Oh uh, yeah. So I yeah. got there. And would you believe it? There were some people there from Crossfield. They had been to Dayton looking for strawberries. Really? So the farmers market does have a number, I think about 120 from Dayton. We've got a nice number of regulars, 90 from Dunlap also. That's really good. So, yes, that's, yeah. We should be proud of, of this, folks. So, we're yeah. still continuing to grow. Yeah, of course. I've uh, got goals and objectives mm -hmm. and, you know, new ideas and things like that. So, um, I'm proud of it. Yes. I, I think everybody should be. Support the farmer's market. Please. Support uh -huh. your local farmers. So if yeah. you don't find it at the market, what do you do? You go out to the farm directly. Some of yes. the farms have their own stores. Some of them have really? their own food trucks. Yes. That's impressive. Um, Tyler Swafford has American Pride in Dayton. Okay. Good and then I can't remember the place in Dunlap uh -huh. across from Walmart. Right. They're in Bledsoe County, just have a store in Dunlap. Okay. okay. So, yeah, so that still be supporting local farmers in Bledsoe right, County. Right, right. Yeah, so some of the others have, they have their own storefronts, that sort of thing. Right. So and Melissa's farm always provides Hendon, for the market. Yeah, Hendon. Yes, so she had fresh cut flowers for Tyler Swafford, American Pride, okay. and a couple of other farms. So the farmers work together. Mm -hmm. They share their um, crops and produce, like the honey from one farm. Another farm is using them, like Three Hills Farm, mm -hmm. using that with soap and some of the skincare products. That's good. Sowing Seed Nursery also. They added pork to their menu late last year. You've so, been locking that. Oh, I love it. I love it. She I know pork burgers, folks. Pork, pork burgers, burgers. Pork loaf, whatever. Pork I've loaf. got a recipe, okay? <laughs> But still, and she's supposed to be bringing me some of this. Uh, I'm he waiting. just asked a few days ago. Okay, <laughs> I haven't had time. <clears throat> so, I do think it'll be good. I'm actually looking forward to it. So, you never know what you find at the farmers market. They are very creative and presentation in the market. And I was able to get fried pies this past Saturday without having to stand in line or getting the last fried pie. <laughs> I get there and I get busy and I'm talking and carrying on. The next yeah. thing I know, they've sold out. <laughs> now, they, do they still do the massages there? She was not there this weekend. She was but at she the Valley did. Fest. Her oh, husband yeah. has a booth yeah. at the farmer's market also. So they were both at uh, Valley right. Fest over the weekend, but they will but be they back. they normally are. Yeah, they, were okay. no, they are normally, uh, yes. So and they even offer that, folks. I mean, come on. So there, there are a number of things, like I said, and we do have some new vendors we had a lot we had the fresh cut flowers but then we had flowers that you could actually plant a variety okay. of things I'm looking for things that attract hummingbirds last year I didn't do well with hummingbirds I only had two and they lasted five six days or so oh wow and um yeah, so our, our bee population in Bledsoe County is down That's significantly. Not it's not good. They didn't do well over the winter, so I'm not mm. sure how that's going to be this summer play out. Um, um, yeah. So I don't have nearly as many butterflies as I had last year. I got a few, yeah. and I probably have a handful, two handfuls of bees.
So my yard is a pollinator yard. I don't keep mm -hmm. that well manicured lawn, golf course right. level, that sort of thing. We have a lot of clover and wildflowers that grow. This yeah, is, but this I is, like that. Well, it is. And the the bees come, the pollinators, they're bees, like butterflies. Yeah, I got a sanctuary section that's overgrown at the moment, but anyway, <laughs> with all the rain. But we have yeah. bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. They're the three main pollinators that we have in the county. There are other okay. things, um, other stuff that go, moths and things like that, yeah. but they land on a male plant pick up some pollen and then they go to a female plant and exchange pollen. Okay. So that's how we get the pollination. Okay. So uh. they're the big pollinators for all your crops, mm -hmm. corn, vegetables, root vegetables and things like that. So if they're not getting pollinated then that means in your produce you the individual are not getting your vitamins and mm -hmm. all that you need to get from those fruits and vegetables right. for you to be healthy. Have yeah, a healthy I mean, diet. That's all this is fresh. That's you right, know? it's fresh, yes. So we all really need to be lining up at the farmer's market and, and eating this stuff, I mean. Support the Pikeville Farmer's Market. Yeah. Support your local farmers. Yeah. It's very important. And it, it'll help you out as well. You yes, know, no, that's the benefit. It's good for yeah. you. Yes, and you should win, eat fresh win. fruit. Fresh fruit for yes. breakfast. And I'm gonna start climbing because <laughs> I do love fruit. I love fresh fruit. So I got you some say strawberries you do that every most morning, today. Correct. Um, yes, we have fresh fruit every day, every wow. morning. Wow. So I got some f strawberries this week. Mm. The line was long. There were people from Crossville. <laughs> They'd been to Dayton looking for strawberries, yeah. and he, he wanted a flat. And she says, "Well, people called and." put it on hold <laughs> reserve they're coming to pick it up yeah <laughs> and she says they're still out in the field picking so you know wow. but he didn't want to wait that long he'd been driving around he was ready to go home yeah well so but you know yeah it's great at least you got your fresh strawberries we had a snack yesterday afternoon we had them for dessert <laughs> had them for breakfast this morning just <laughs> And the next farmer's market will be this Saturday. The first, oh yeah, it's every Saturday. Every Saturday. Normally it's, it's from eight to twelve. Eight to twelve, okay. regular Saturdays. First Saturday of each month mm -hmm. is change time to coincide with the cruise in and That's the live true. music. That's so great. we still have the fresh produce and everything, but we'll have the artisans. We have nice. the um, those. We have some woodworking. Yeah. Items, things like that. It's but just a different time on that. It's a first different Saturday. it's a different time. Cruise in people indicated that they wanted more. I am all I'm all for They wanted that. more. Put and on um, it all and make it one big event. Right. Like so so you're getting a draw of people from out of town with the cruise in. Yes. You know, tourism have a little more street. cash to spend. Exactly. So yes. Exactly. Yeah, this is how we help boost the economy, bringing right. people in with money to spend. And That's you need right. something here for them to spend it on. So, yes. That's the name of the game right there. And it's the biggest thing we got going for us right now in downtown Pottville. One and of we, the biggest things. Well, yeah. One you want to partner least. with the farmer's market, yes. you need to give us a call. Yeah, so, um, the Ross House, which yes. is directly across from the farmer's market, they're going to be we doing some things. That, here. That's right. <laughs> so, they will be doing some things. Um, not every Saturday, but in conjunction some of the Saturdays really? with the farmer's market. Yes. I'm glad to hear yeah, that. Yes. So, you know, you, you leave the farmer's market and walk across the street there to the Ross house. Yeah. Um, some exhibits. I don't have a list of what they'll be doing right now and the dates at this okay. time, but yes. People will like to hear that, Constance, because there's a lot of people wanting to save the Ross House, obviously. It's historic. Yes, it is on the National Register. Yeah. It is a historical site, and um, it was the first hospital yeah. here in Pikeville. They were Confederate doctors. I yes. didn't realize that until a couple of months ago. Wow. So there's I, a lot of No, I didn't know that either. Now. See? I, not that part, no. You learned something 
something new all the time. That's right. That's so, right. yes, the last time I was over there, that came out in a little uh, discussion, uh, okay. giving us an update about the Ross house. And I was like, wow, I didn't know that. I did not know that. So, yes. So, yeah, it's very historic. And, it is. Uh, we it do is. We need to save it. We do need to save it. And I want to thank Miss Loretta Stevens and Miss Judy Yates because they made the push to save it. They raised fourteen hundred dollars. Yes, they did, most definitely. Uh, they gave away recently. a raffled off a quilt. Yeah, you one a quilt or two and a UT Afghan that my mom oh, wanted. Oh, oh <laughs> gee, that was rigged. Yeah. Rigged. Rigged. <laughs> and uh let's see. Oh and John David Sales won the quilt. Yeah, so Okay. But yeah, that wow. was very successful. You yeah, it was. It was one dollar, so So that's a lot, a lot of tickets. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that so was, was good. Very glad to hear that. And also, and they will be they will be having some more fundraisers. That's what I want to hear. Is that true? Yes. Great. At least I know about one additional because they're coordinating with the farmers market. Oh, that, that's, so, that's wonderful. So, uh, so we will be doing the promotion and everything. So, yes. I'm glad so I can't that. give you any details yet. I'm waiting for yeah. them to confirm on the date. Everything. Okay. So, yes. I'll have you come up here and talk about that when we know that. <laughs> okay. We want people on board with that. But uh, tell us about the cruise in. Uh, I don't want to say that the cruise in has made huge strides. It has. I mean, We've last covered year's when it three blocks. The new started. Almost four blocks. Yes. That's now, a lot I of growth. I can tell you, the cruise in used to be uh, one block. Maybe five, five ten vehicles. people. Oh, ten up. people? No, but just show up to the event, <laughs> if that. Okay, that is the truth. That is Billy keeping it real for you right here on the Albert okay. Billy Show. It's just the truth. It so, was not a big event. So but last year, the it most, all changed. We had... It all changed. We had at least 25 or 30 Corvettes. And that yeah. didn't include all the other vehicles that were here. So that was the yeah. largest. There was a traffic jam of Corvettes yes. leaving the Pikeville. I couldn't believe it. the first <laughs> time I saw the, that first cruise in. I could not believe the crowd and just everything about it. Like it, it's it's amazing how much that so we talk about transformed. There's a lot of things that go on in Pikeville. Um, maybe you don't know about all of them, but there mm -hmm. are a lot of things that go on in Pikeville. Yes, yeah, all So the time. maybe the cruising is not your thing. Maybe the live music and dancing in the street is. That's the so there, right. you need to pick and choose of the various activities. Yes. So if you don't support them, then they disappear. They go away. That's true. And that can be an epidemic I'm telling you, you know. <laughs> but people come and they have money to spend and that's helping yes. the local economy and the businesses yes. and and we're reaching out to the local people come out and support these events i know people i know friends of mine that'll complain about nothing to do here and then when there is something they won't show up and support it we got to support these local events because if people don't show up well, guess what? They're not going to have these events anymore. So I will tell you, this is funny. It was, it was not. Um, some friends of mine, four of them, grade school friends, mm -hmm. they got, a, I got a note from them saying, we're going to come to Pikeville to the cruise in. Yeah. Well, with all the happening and the rescheduling and stuff, I completely forgot about them. <laughs> Completely. I get a phone call Saturday afternoon, Ooh. and they're at Ember's Ice Cream Shop saying, oh, where's, the the road, yeah. where's the cruise in? Where's the cruise in? I bet they were like, what is going on here? So, but, yeah. I, so we had a great time. Um, according to Gail, we kind of lit up the ice cream park good, Saturday good, afternoon. Good. So it was good to see them. We had fun. Mm -hmm. Other people did come in, uh, but we didn't notice them. <laughs> so it wasn't like a, yeah, it wasn't like a total boss then. Like, it wasn't. It, we hadn't seen good. each other in a long time. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And the, the crowd was there for the farmer's market despite the weather. That's always so, good to hear. Yes. Uh, but before we go, we want to make it clear, the first Saturday of each month, you need to be in downtown Pottville every Saturday of the month to check out the Farmer's Market. Market, yes. But the first Saturday of each month, folks, is just 
an all day event, you know, so to speak. It's it's a big event. One big thing event. That, one thing that we learned by having the market in the afternoon, mm -hmm. we had more people coming to the market. I feel you. Right. So there's the morning crowd and yes. then there's the afternoon crowd. That's true. So, so you're the best of both worlds. Right, yes, way. yes, yes. And the cruising always starts at what time? Four. Four. It's, they so start four. arriving as early as three. Okay. And so the farmer's market then on the first opens Saturday. Opens at four. Opens at the same time. Yes. And usually, usually the live music is, kicks off around seven on the Main Street stage. Yes, yes. So you've got three events in one. Bring your own chair. Okay. Oh, uh, because yeah. you want to sit. Yeah. Listen to the music. And we do literally have some people. Dance. Well, we have some people who dance around the stage, but we also have some people that dance, literally dance in the street last year. That's what I'm talking about. So That's I've already, my kind of people. So I've already <laughs> called them out. I've told them, you know, I'm looking for you. Yeah, I'm looking for you, we'll too. Where are you at? In the street. That's right. <laughs> I love so. it. I love it. Dancing in the streets, baby. We're looking yeah. for you, okay? Yeah, and, and support this, folks. It, it's a great thing that they're trying to do here for downtown Pottville, and you'll actually have a really good time as well when you come out and, and see There'll see be food yourself. to eat. Yeah, good food, good food. And entertainment, and the car shows, the cruise ends are great, and several, several cars are in it. Oh, it's a bunch of them now. Well, like I said, the it most we like had was five four blocks. To Seventy-five. You four know. blocks. Yeah, that's, covered up that's, four that's, blocks. The Batmobile. There was yeah, even a hearse like that, that came last year. Whoa, I missed that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I did see the Batmobile though. I did see that. I liked it. <laughs> the hearse was cool. <laughs> so before we go, we want to say the next one is the next where the events are combined will yes. be on the first Saturday of June. Yes. And Allie has an account. What's that date, Allie? <laughs> the first. Wow, really? <laughs> wow, the first that on the first. That doesn't happen. Okay, okay. Happen Saturday is June the first. Wow. Well, June the first is the next big day where the farmer's market will be in the afternoon. The cruise in will start at four. They'll both start at four. Now on that date, I have been told that there will be music, live music, starting at four. We'll have two oh, bands okay. to make up for the weather. No cancellation. Cancellation, yes. That's good. So that will, so we'll have more music going yeah. on that day. So, yeah. So, music will, so everything will kick off at four that day. That's easy to remember then. Four, four, four. And we want to see you there. Be at the June stage the Farmer's first. Market out on Main Street. That's right. We want to see you dancing in the streets, too. Dancing you in the streets. You might just see street. me dancing in the streets, too. <laughs> I got to see that one. And where's my camera? I saw Constance. <laughs> I want to see her dancing in the streets again. It went viral, I was told. <laughs> no wonder it was great. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want to thank you for co-hosting with me today. I've enjoyed it. It was fun. It was fun, as always. Yes. And you can listen to Constance and me on WUAT. She comes by. About Ever one, so often. Twice, at least twice, twice a month. Twice a month, you yes. Know. But when and you were sick, I couldn't come. Yeah, and as you can tell by voice, I'm still a little bit on the mend. A lot better than what it was, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. But uh, you can listen to that on WUAT, though, and she does offer updates uh, on all these local events that are coming up. So we want to thank Constance for joining us today and co-hosting with me. I uh, appreciate it. And I know you for, do. You owe me. I know it. I know <laughs> it. And I want to thank the listeners on WAT AM 1110 and viewers on Channel 18 Valley TV and also you YouTubers. Thanks for watching as well. And uh, until next time, so long, folks. Later.